Some concepts in procedural graphics can be tricky to wrap one's head around. Take curl noise. When you see something like that, there is almost no doubt that some sort of magic was used here, but today I'll try my best to show you that it's not magic, just math, and actually the math behind it is pretty simple. So what is curl? It's just a bunch of vectors showing you direction. To compute it in 2D space, use this formula. Okay, let me break it down. This part means how fast value changes if y changes. And this part shows you how fast value changes if x changes. So, in a nutshell, it's just a bunch of derivatives. You know that thing that shows you how fast a function changes? It's called a derivative. Calculating accurate derivatives, though, can be tricky, especially for something like Berlin noise, especially if you want to do it in real time. So, we're gonna cut the corners and make an estimation. Look, here I have some function output, and I have no idea what the function was, but I need to estimate a derivative. What I can do is to break it into steps, and then I can just take each two values. Let's take these two, for example. Find the difference and divide it by two, because I have two steps. And that will be my estimation of how fast the function changes between these two points. Of course, if you want to be accurate with it, you need to use really small steps. Now let's implement it in Dutch Designer. Add a noise tone. Set the resolution to 1024 by 1024. Also set pixel format to 32-bit float. Add a constant chop. Call it step. Set it to 0 0.01. Add a transform top. Set the step to control the X translate. And connect the noise. Copy the transform top. Remove the reference from the TX parameter and paste it to the TY parameter. Add a composite top. First connect noise and then connect the transform. Set the operation to subtract. You see, we get this little line that we don't need. To get rid of it, just go to transform parameter, style, extends, add it to mirror. Do the same thing for the other transform. Now, duplicate the composite top. Connect the second transform instead of the first one. Add a math top and set the multiply to minus one. Now we need to combine those two results, so add a reorder top. Connect it like this, we'll deal with it later. Add a feedback top and connect the noise. Now add a display top. Connect the feedback to its first input and connect the reorder top to the second input. Set the display's weight to 0.005. Drag the display onto the feedback, set the extent parameter to meter. Also add a keyboard and chop to reset our feedback top. You see, we need to pack our values in red and blue channels. Go to Riata top, we don't need green, set it to zero, set the output blue to input two. Let's reset our feedback. Well, something is not right. That's because display top needs values from zero to one, so insert a limit top here and activate normalize. Now, when you reset the feedback loop, you get the swirls. You can change the noise parameters to control the swirls, you can displace an image, you can displace a ramp, you can displace a circle a ramp, you can change the noise type, yeah, just go experiment with it. Feel free to like and subscribe, you can also support me on Patreon now to help me make more tutorials like this one, you can get early access to videos, project files, some exclusive tutorials and other useful stuff, just check out the tiers, the link is in the description. That's about it, so thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.